yes to any one of those, we're going to assume you now have a system on location that you now can advertise with. Okay? So, now we're going to go into step two. Step two is now getting the ads to put in this new fangled uh, digital billboard system that you have at the local tavern or bar or wherever. So the first thing we do is we put a little fishbowl down underneath your billboard and we write on that fishbowl, put your card in here for your free seven day trial. Okay? Then you go, you walk away. You want to have some ads running in there that you've made up for the local area just as some teasers so people can see what it looks like. Come back in a few days and you'll find out you have business cards inside your fishbowl. Now, take out those business cards and then the first thing you're going to do now is you're going to scan those business cards in and turn them into a advertisement okay is everybody with me so far all right now I'm going to show you now how to take that business card that you're going to be picking up every few days and you're going to scan those in and turn them into advertisements okay so I'm going to take a standard business card, which I'm showing you before you and right in my hand here. All right. See that card. Now I'm going to place it in my scanner, which is just a few feet away from me. All right. Uh oh. Oh. Make sure I select the right scanner. I'm moving my machine back and forth from the office to home. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and scan that card. Now remember this. Let me preview this. Remember that when you scan business cards in, you want to scan those in at 300 DPI. The reason why this is, is because 300 DPI is just about the right size, so you don't have to resize the business card. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and scan this. I've already had my DPI set to 300. And let me go ahead and scan it. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and close my software out, well at least my scan stuff, and notice that my card is upside down. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fix the card, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the area of the card that I want to, to become the ad. I'm going to crop that out. Now that I got what I need to be cropped out, now I'm going to rotate this card because I happen to have it in upside down. All right, so now we're right side up, okay? And I'm going to do a little formatting. I'm going to auto-process the card, which looks horrible, so I'll leave it back the way it was. Maybe focus it a little bit, which looks even worse, so I'll leave that the way it was. This is a pretty bad card to use because it has a lot of grain in it, but let's say for, for giggles that it was perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and format the size and change the dimension of the card to be what's request required for the system. Now in a split screen mode, you need to make the card 960 pixels wide by 615. Okay? In a single screen mode, you want to make the card 1024 by 615 because it, it's going to cover more of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one 960 by 615. Make sure you turn that aspect ratio off or to keep messing with your with your measurements. All right, so now you notice it skewed it just a hair, not too much. Okay, so it looks looks all right. So now that we have a card, we'll say this is a end a, a finished card. We're going to go ahead and save this now as a JPEG image. Okay, so I'm going to go somewhere I can remember where I'm saving my cards. Go to my temporary folder. And let me make some kind of folder for it. We'll just call it um, 
let's see test cards how's that so I know where it is and we make sure that we turn it into our standard JPEG image and we'll just name this thing untitled leave it the way it is and uh, let me let me back up what we want to do is name the census a temporary card we're going to name it something with a T underscore and then you know whatever test card the T underscore will allow the system to put a little T on the screen to allow to let your people know the host to know that this is actually a temporary card okay a temporary uh, uh, ad so they're not asking you every time how much money uh, they're supposed to get or whatever because they'll know themselves that that card is temporary by the thing that shows up on the screen alright so we've saved it now